Well, you know, I hate to have to make this video, but uh, this is uh, in regards to the Mantello humidor that you see here in front of me. Uh, I paid around $60 in tax for this thing. Um, it never held humidity. Never did. Uh, even after seasoning it, it was amazing. It, it, it got up to 75 and then shortly after dropped off, and I used Bovidas. And, uh, you know, I've since taken my cigars out of, out of here and I've gotten a new uh, hygrometer because uh, when I tried to recalibrate this hygrometer, I took it out and I put a little piece of tape over the front. I didn't want to lose any humidity. My cigars were in there, you know. And uh, this is what happened when that piece of tape came off. Holy shit. And so immediately it was like, oh, yeah, all right, well, I ruined it. Great. Um you know, and I had Bovida 72s in here. Never got above 63%. Right now, I have 75s in here. And as you can see, still sitting at 63%. And I know that that hygrometer is calibrated because I used Bovida's calibration kit. And uh, it read 75, 76 after 24 hours. And I left it there in there for three days, you know. So anyway, yeah, Mantello... I would not waste your money on this goddamn thing. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, you know, disappointment, especially considering the price I paid for it. And, uh, you know, I've sent an email. I bought it off Amazon. I wouldn't expect the company to uh, compensate me in any way. I mean, I'd like to get an email about like, oh, maybe you did it wrong. You know, it's just so I could respond with a, you know, go uh, fuck yourself. But anyway, um, yeah, no, don't buy this thing. It's dog shit. So anyway, um, just, you know, for my own peace of mind, so I knew and I couldn't blame Bovida because, you know, I kind of wanted to blame Bovida, you know, like, man, fuck that snake oil, that shit doesn't work, you know? So anyway, over here, today, today, this came in today. Oh, fuck me. I bought, you know, one of the, uh, give me a second here, boys, <sighs> Bovida, the humidor bag. Right? You know? Because, uh, why not? I had a transmitity bag from uh, bestcigarprices.com. That thing didn't last more than two uh, two months. But anyway, this these are supposed to last a year. Anyway, you know, I packed this thing full of uh, about a three-quarter box of uh, Padron 1964s. And I got some Daniel Marshalls in there that I bought on a whim. And, uh, yeah, that's an undercrown. Hell yeah, undercrowns are the shit. Anyway, these are those same Bovida 72s that used to be in Mr. Shithouse over there. So uh, anyway, um, when this thing showed up, I decided to throw in the uh, the hygrometer that I'd had in the calibration kit for the last five days. That was reading straight 75 is perfect, you know? And these have only been in there for an hour and a half, and it's already at 67%. So, you know... I have a feeling that when I wake up tomorrow morning, or whenever, you know, <laughs> who cares? As long as it's above 65, it's good, you know? And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a real shame that, uh, you know, I spent all that money on this thing and it didn't quite work out. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to leave these 75 packs in here all night just to see if it manages to make itself into a acceptable range of humidity, but I'm really not expecting it to do that at all. And uh, as far as, you know, another humidor is concerned, I'm open to suggestions. If anybody, you know, I'm, I don't got a huge budget, you know, so just, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, let me know some, some ones that have worked for you guys. And uh, yeah, just uh, if, if you're new, if you're a newbie, I'm not... A newbie cigar smoker, but a newbie cigar uh, collector, I guess. Um, just, you know, stay away from these uh, shitty Amazon fucking humidors, man. Save you a whole lot of hassle. Peace out.